Okay, okay. Uh, we're, okay, I'm gonna start talking right now. Well, guys, it's the last Saturday morning farming of FS17. Oh, this is tough, man. This is tough. This is going to be the last one. It, it's going to be fun, too. I'm doing a little a little fun on every video. We're going to do a little fun before we actually get into that serious business. Of, you know, getting down to work and getting farming. Even though farming's fun, we've got to have a little more fun. And uh, more farmers coming in. He's like, and he just hit a pole down there, but he's coming in for work. It's time to report for duty. More formal. Get up here, boy. He's got his minivan. I bought him. And he came from his house that we bought him, too. There's more farmer. He's rolling in. So, what you guys saw in the title of the video and the thumbnail is more farmer was kind of challenging me he was talking all about this big versatile you know he's a big versatile guy big big versatile guy and uh, i was like you know there's there's not too bad too so i'm gonna take the 8rt the little underdog the 8rt up against the big versatile 610 and then if i lose i'm gonna take my 89 the old school heavy iron up against the new versatile so we have the versatile for a couple more days a couple more vids um as we we're demoing it and i was like let's do it let's do it so that's what we're going to do, and then more should be, uh, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll jump in the tractors, and we'll get going. We got a tow bar. I bought a tow bar, so it should be good. Tow chain. Too bad there weren't chains. Uh, I'm excited for the day we get chains in farm sim, like tow chains and stuff. You could hook up to trucks, hook up to cars, tow them out of the ditch with tow chains and stuff. So, more spooling out is versatile. If you have it, giveaway ends before the stream tonight. So, like, in eight hours after this video was posted, giveaway ends. Go enter the giveaway. It'll be down below in the description, all the stuff you need to enter it. Dude, I love my 8RT. I love this. I love this thing. I love it. I love it. I love it, dude. It shakes. It's sweet. Like, this is crazy for Farm Sim, how we have stuff shaking, the muffler shaking, the engine shaking. Oh, it's awesome. So, um, a couple things. Oh, we got... Oh, we could put this weight. Nah, we can't because we need to hook up the tow bar. Oh, I think we can... Can we still hook up? Okay, we may be able to... Oh, That'll help me out. Let's do it. We need all the weights we can get on this thing. I don't know if that'll... I think it'll work still. Okay, yeah. I'll... Okay, to be honest, I never planned that at all. That weight was literally sitting there when I backed that up. And I was like, oh my gosh, we can use that weight. What's that? What's that more? Oh, okay. Because the 706, we keep tipping all the time. Ooh, I gotcha. Dude, my game volume is just so loud. There we go. We'll turn it down a little bit. Okay, so you got the tow bar. Perfect. I will... Okay, I'll pull up next to you. Um, okay, we got to whip the 8RT around. One thing I love about the 8RT too is the lights. The lights... Look at those. It's just like once those ones that the cab go, oh, it just brightens up, brightens up everything. Brightens your day, man. It brightens your day. This The 8RT looks awesome. So, we'll pull back. Put your votes in. Don't cheat. Don't cheat and skip ahead. Put your votes in to see which one will uh, will win. Okay, and by the way, I said this is last Saturday morning farming. Um, just because I'm pretty sure I'm getting the game just... I, I can't say when, but I'm getting the game a little early. Just a little early. I'm not going to tell you guys when or anything like that. FS19, just tad early. You guys probably expected that. So, I, I can't say... what They told me not to say when and stuff. So, that's why I'm saying it's the last, last one. Okay, so, we're hooked up. Should I lower the weight? Is that going to... What's that? Yeah, but hold on. I'm trying to think what's the best option for me. I can... Oh, I got... Okay, I got leverage here. I, literally, I got leverage here. Okay. Okay, hold on. More. Back up on the roadway. Just back up. You, you pull forward. You pull forward. There we go. Yeah. Dude, maybe I should switch up my tracks and go some... I don't know. Okay, here we go. Now... <laughs> is this even legal? We're doing tug of war. Dude, imagine seeing two farmers just arguing... You know, they're sitting around drinking beer or whatever, and they're like, oh, my tractor's going to pull them all in yours. And they just go out on the roadway, start pulling. You just come across two farmers just pulling. <laughs> okay, anyways, jump in here. Okay, you ready, more? Three. Wait, wait, wait. We'll go three, two, one, go. And on go, we pull. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, more, more. You're getting smoked. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> More! Oh, the 8RT! The 8RT, man! Look at the deer go! The deer, boys! It's out pulling the versatile! Oh my gosh, dude! Okay, okay, I'll stop. Okay, you pull me back. Dude, you know what? Uh, okay. 
There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Um, okay. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, this is pretty close. Then the NOT starts pulling the head. Oh, watch this. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, that's not good. That's not good. I was moving my back weight and it screwed me up. Okay, hold on. Okay, more. One more, one more pull. This is for all the marbles. Three. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me raise my weight. Okay. Three, two, one, go. This ain't right, guys. This is oh, right. more the deer. Look at the deer just pulling. I, I don't know. I mean, I see it. this is crazy. Okay, well, what should we, uh, okay, we'll take the 89 up against the Versatile. Even though the deer won. Now, in real life, guys, dude, in real life, the Versatile would smoke it. It's just got way, it's got almost double the horse. It would smoke it, but it would be cool. I was just thinking, we have, we were kind of going for the Millennial Mar Farmer setup. Kind of with tractors and stuff, and he has these two tractors. It'd be cool to see him do a tug of war. That's what he should do for a video. Man, he'd get a lot of views if he did that. His like one of his demo tractors, like the Challenger versus the Versatile. But I doubt, I doubt those companies would let him do that, especially when they're a demo. That, but that'd be a pretty darn cool video if he did that. That'd be sweet. So maybe somebody should tell him that he should do a tug of war between some of those tractors. Probably doesn't want to. But anyways, more. Let me throw off this weight here. Or disconnect that. Yeah, disconnect from this weight. It could be. Oh wait, no. Pick her back up. Then disconnect from the weight. It could be because of. Uh, you can't. <laughs> no. Okay. Here. Maybe I can. Here, let me jump in it. I I think I can maybe disconnect it. Yeah, there we go. You just hit X to disconnect from the weight. Okay. I'm gonna take away this weight and let's see if I just want to do one quick one and just see what happens. Man, it, yeah, I have a lot of weights on this tractor, though. Anyways, like I max this thing out. Okay, three, two, one, go. Oh, dude, that weight helps so much when you think about it. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, disconnect me, and I'll go get the eighty-nine because the eighty-nine has a lot of weight. That was fun doing though. Wow, that weight helped so much. I didn't think that actually helped that much. So for now, and then by the way, guys, so it's fall. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's fall, so we're gonna get harvesting here after we finish messing around a little bit. <laughs> Just two farmers right before harvest. Oh man, I feel like farmers need to have more games and need to have a little more fun. You know, take the take the tractors out for a little tug of war, do a town yeah, tug of war. Just a little bit. Yeah, you guys have a lot of fun. There's a lot of fun things you can do on the farm. I mean, farming farming in general is pretty fun, too, I guess. It's all fun and games until equipment starts breaking. Then it becomes... True, true. Yeah, I guess you don't want to take a half a million dollar tractor up against Tug of War and have it something important break exactly. for no reason. Okay, I'm getting the 89 out. We'll see how this does. I, I have a feeling you're just going to smoke me. You should be. You should smoke me, but who knows? Okay, and then for harvest, I think I'm going to throw the 8RT on the grain cart, which we had before. And then also, so what happened is we had Decade Server full of this stuff. Decade Server got all screwed up. Farmer Nick. Farmer Nick screwed it up a little bit. So I got this on my save game. It kind of reset some stuff. We're a little behind yet. So like the wheat's still in because it went, it went back in time. And the wheat's still in and stuff like that. But other than that, we're pretty good. Yeah, some, yeah, some fields aren't planted the way they should be, but... It's fine. There's there's not too much time left until Evans 19 comes out. And I can't wait because I'm just going to wipe my whole server. My whole, everything. Everything on FS17. It's gone. It's gone. All the memories. Every, well, I mean, not memories, but all the stuff on it is just gone. Well, squad, what we ought to do is one day after FS19 comes out, we can do one Thursday where we do a farming simulator 17 as a throwback and then it's gone for it. Maybe, maybe. I'm telling you, once you get me to go to FS19, I'm not gonna go back. But yeah, maybe for maybe for a throwback, that'd be that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, I, I think that'd be kind of cool. May, we'll do that. We'll do that. It might be a couple weeks after FS19 comes out though. But yeah, th throwback Thursday would be perfect. Yeah. Okay, more. Caller. Three, two, one, go. Oh, dude, you went on one. I thought we were going on go. Okay. Okay, three, two, one, go. 
<laughs> oh, you just dragged me, dude. Weights matter so much. I have rear weights in the rear tires, too. First, I'll just out pulls it. Okay, one more time. Three, two, one, go. Oh, you see my back wheels start going a little bit. The front, I, I think this thing's rear wheel. Yeah, dude, you're just dragging me. Yeah, look at that versatile. That's just cool watching. Okay, let me go. Let me free. So we'll have to use a versatile for something, I guess. I don't know what we'll use it for. I don't want to use it on the grain cart. But maybe we'll have to, we can start ripping ground right away with the versatile. That'll work pretty good. Of course, the 89, we're just always going to keep on the farming server. That'll be perfect. And then I guess I forgot to say this, guys, but the intro music. Intro music was provided by Tyler Richton and the High Bank Boys. These guys are a local band from uh, my college and stuff. I talked to them and stuff, and we both agreed it would be cool to throw in some intro songs. So all their music coming up here is from them. I have a link down below if you want to check them out and some of their songs. You can probably, met if you want to use them for a video too, you can probably message them on Facebook and be like, hey dude, can I use your songs and stuff? Because it's pretty good, like, country songs and stuff. So, what we'll do is, um, 8RT on grain cart, and we're actually more, we're going to cut silage, but silage is a little late, so I'm thinking, do you want to start cutting beans or corn first? Uh, let's or, get to the beans first. Okay. Okay, we'll start beans. I'm also going to get a grain trailer for the semi too, is what I'll do. So, we have the 8RT here. Now, I'm going to hook it up to the grain cart. Your job is to get the grain trailer for the semi. I'm going to buy the grain trailer right now. You guys see we have a ton of money. I know I was adding in some equipment. Like I said, the server was screwed up, and we were back in time, so I had to buy a lot of our equipment back. I need a lot of money to buy it back. So, that's why our money's just screwed up a little bit. So... I'll buy a Wilson Grain Trailer for you. Tippers. Tippers, tippers, tippers. Yes. Oh. Oh. 42 foot. Do you want a tandem? Would that be cool? Yeah, we'll do tandem. We can do a pup trailer. 42 foot and a pup. Will that be cool? 42 foot. Okay. I don't know if it has anybody ever seen that 42 foot and a pup trailer. Okay, I bought both of them. Maybe the maybe it doesn't need a pup trailer. I don't know. We'll see. I guess forty-two foot. Isn't that the same one? Uh, how farms work at? Oh, how farms work. That was cool. How, how farms work at a sim. I I remember. I, I watched that video and I watched it. Watched it like twice or one and a half times. Kind of went back through it another time. Watched it. It was, a, it was a good video. It was cool seeing him get a semi. So. I don't know. Is that gonna work? Maybe that's a little overkill. I think that could be a little too much more. We got a kind of crazy setup going on. Oh, and we have two combines. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so we're going to get, I'm going to shut the 8RT off because we got to pull out all these combines right now. More. We got to use your minivan, man. We got to use the minivan again because I got to pull these, uh, I got to pull these header trailers. So yeah, minivan it is because we got the minivan. We got the truck. I guess I, I could pull them with the tractor. Yeah, let's be realistic. Maybe not use a minivan. I want to pull them with a minivan, but. I'll just take the 8RT. 8RT will be fine. I'll put the green card up on a little later. I guess both of them do, both of the combines do have a hitch behind them. I guess we'd be fine like that. But for now, I'll just pull them out. Yeah, true. It doesn't, it doesn't work too good with one of them. I remember. So we'll have the 8RT pull it down the road and then 80, 8RT goes, I think it goes, oh, it only goes 26 mile an hour. But I'll have the 8RT come back and we'll grab the other. Oh, I guess we're only going to this field. What field are we going to? We didn't need to get field two done yet. So I guess I guess I'll just pull them out. I gotta find find a good spot to pull them out at. But I guess we'll pull them out over here. I'm kinda going all over the place. Shoot, that's right, that tree, it blocks you. Darn it. Oh my gosh. There we go. Sorry guys, I'm going all over the place. Still unrealistic. There we go. Man, this game volume is just so loud still. Uh, perfect. Now, I'll get the deer out. And then, okay, oh, perfect. More farmers, <laughs> more farmers on it. Don't harvest the wheat yet. We'll come back for the wheat. We'll just get going on beans first. And then once you get that... I can move the header trailer. I 
you got it more. Just just connect to it, and then, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I know. Oh, gosh. It's going through the shed a little bit. There he goes. Okay, now I'll connect to this, and I can... Hold on, I, I got you. I'll move this out of, the, uh, out of your way. Uh, we're going to have to kind of go through the ditch. Dude, I love this ART. I can use it for, like, everything. I don't know. It's so fun driving. <laughs> it would be... Yeah, I love it. Okay. Well, oh, he's got... Okay. Oh, nice. Now, have you guys ever seen that in real life? I feel like that's more of like a grain train. That's not even a grain... I don't know. A pup behind a 42-foot trailer? Is that... Okay. Have you ever seen it done? Is it too unrealistic? I think it... I've seen it done. Okay. Okay. We'll do it then. That way we only have to run one semi. It's pushing it a little bit, but as long we could like, as long as it gets through the field, fine. We should be good. Okay, now more. I'm gonna pull out the uh, the case header, and then we gotta get the. Oh, it's been a while since I've ran this case combine. Shoot, both of these headers are right here. The tongues, at least, are right here. Might be kind of tough to hook on here. Oh, there we go. We're good. Oh gosh. I love how these tires are flat. Like, it's the coolest thing ever. Like, in real life, you'd be like, what? Oh, shoot, the tire's flat. I gotta go fill it up. But in Farm Sim, you're like, oh my gosh, tires are flat. That's sweet. Okay. Yep, it is. <laughs> okay, what are we supposed to... What are we supposed to do here, man? I, uh... I'm just gonna keep pulling. Because I have no other option, really. Come on, dude. 8RT. I'm full throttle with 8RT. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There we go. We got her. Besides, the corn header just fell off. We don't have it done your corn head, do we? We don't. I'm going to have to... I'm, oh, shoot. I keep hitting this tree. Sorry, guys. I'm going all over, and it's, I'm being super unrealistic right now with everything I'm doing. I'll try to get out of here. Okay. More. I'm going to go... I'm going to go take the deer combine. Closer to the field. It's going to be tough. Oh, yes. You're right, dude. This was an awkward situation. Very, very awkward. This is going to be tough to get through. <laughs> Can you jump down the tree? Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're good. We're good. Never mind. But now I got to get... Ah, we're going to destroy some wheat. Whatever. Wheat doesn't even pay that good. We'll just run it over quick. I could just harvest it, but it's probably fine. <laughs> we got to make it through all this stuff now. Oh, my gosh. What, hopefully we don't... Okay, we're... Oh, my gosh. Okay, there we go. We made it. We made it. We got the deer here. Now, okay, you should be able to pull out the case and then get the headers connected to that. Oh, so much going on. This will probably be somewhat of a decent, long uh, Saturday morning fun vid. That's what we'll do. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying it, smash that like button if you're enjoying it. Okay, more. I can pull out of your way. You're good. Actually, I'm just going to pull right through here. This might be a little tough. Yep. <sighs> this is going to be a little tough. Uh, okay, for now, these header trailers. i got to figure out where to put these header trailers. For now, I'm just going to pull all the way around here. we got to fix that one over there, though. And then now I can finally get my... I can finally get the grain cart on the 8RT. We should be ready to go. Now, with this, we're just going to sell all the grain. So I'm going to put the semi maybe on the side of the road somewhere. And we'll take the 8RT and we'll just unload straight into the semi down there. Okay, back her up. Jump out. Connect the grain cart. There we go. PTO is connected. Man, it's a good thing we got weights on this. <laughs> this is kind of a tight turn. I'm kind of going crazy. Just Oh, that was probably not a good idea. Probably should have pulled out that main door. This grain, this grain cart is like perfect too. Okay, more. I got the grain cart right behind us. Now, okay, you got the semi? Okay, perfect. So, where are you taking the semi to? You're taking the semi all the way. Take the semi, I'm thinking, yeah, all the way down to the end of the road on the far south side of field south two. Side. Okay, that'll work good. I'll climb the water tower, see what you're up to. Oh, they need to have where you can climb ladders in Farm Sim, too. Oh, I can Oh, I, you know what? I think I can get up there. <laughs> okay, now we gotta try this. There we go. Don't screw it up, squad. 
We're getting there. We're making progress. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, <laughs> dude. I, okay, I didn't think you could climb more. Did you know you could climb water towers? This is sweet. The, the view up here is insane, and I'm not even like cheating in the game. I'm not even like flying around or anything like that. I wonder if I can make it. I don't think so. I don't think I can make that jump. But this should, this dude, we should play like. I want to play like games like like a hide and seek game sometime, like a live stream where we play hide and seek. <laughs> you know, just make it dark and play bloody werewolf or something farm sim. I used to play that so many so much when I was younger. It was so fun. But, uh, yeah, like, this would be a perfect spot. Okay, so more... Okay, I can... Okay, enough. We gotta get back to business. We are some farmers that like to mess around. Some virtual farmers that like to mess around. Okay. The S760. More, I'm thinking, we'll take... Yeah. Are you about ready? I'll have you run the case, and I'll run the deer here. Okay. You can just tab to the case if you want. <laughs> Okay, I'm going on the beans. And we actually have it in bushels this time. And then you'll follow me on the beans too. There we go. I love the crop textures. Crop textures are the one thing. Hopefully FS19 has good crop textures. I really hope they do. We're already at 5%. Yeah, I, I guess we'll find out. So we're already at 5%. I got to head on down to... Uh, I gotta head on down to that semi because we're gonna be full by the time we hit that semi. Gotta be careful of that. More, I'll wait up for you so you can kind of start following me past here. And then for the live stream tonight, guys, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the live stream. Maybe we'll do farming. I don't know. I do not know. Maybe some. I don't know. It'll be it'll be the last live stream too, I guess. Or last live stream for FS17. Okay, there more comes. I better get somewhat of a head start on him. So I'll keep going here. And we will knock this out. Now, I'm at 10%, but the more. How many bushels does your thing hold? I don't know. What's this one? What, what are you at for percentage right now? I'm at 8 right now. Okay. So you're about the same percent as me, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, that works good then. So we'll do all this. I'll throw her on cruise control. And we should get all this done. I'm going to need the grain cart. I don't know if I'll need the grain cart. I think we can make it to the semi. If we can make it to the semi, we should be good. <laughs> See right here, it's getting to some uneven ground where this header, it hits one side and doesn't hit the other side. It's like pulling me around. It's literally, see, look at that. I'm trying to steer straight, but no, it's pulling me to the right. So, it's kind of a tough little area. Now, here when somebody's doing tillage, they tilled one of the waterways. So, you're going to see there's a huge part of the hill that is going to be so sketchy to go through with the combine. It's going to be it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So, we're going to back around. I'm going to try to hit this, but we'll see. So, we got a case and a deer run right next to each other. Now, the farmer I did a harvest vid with had he ran uh he ran a deer combine S660, but he loved Case's Combine, and he had a Case Combine for 25 years. He loved, uh, I don't know much about Combines, but the Rotor Combine is what he said was just amazing. They were like one of the first ones to engineer it, I guess. I don't I don't know exactly, but he said uh, they made a heck of a Combine. So he loved Case Combines, and he wouldn't mind going back to him, even though he has a lot of deer now. Oh, gosh. Missed the little beans through there. Okay, yes, this is the drainage, or this was the waterway I was talking about. You can definitely tell. It all leads down there, but somebody planted it. Or somebody... Oh, gosh. We're stuck. Oh, my gosh. That... Oh, dude. Oh. I got to lift her up. There we go. Come on. Pull through. Okay, that worked. <laughs> oh, this is tough on combines. Okay, yeah. We could easily make it down here. So, I'm at 35%. Do we... Let's just... Okay, let's just keep going. Because by the time we get around the whole field, we'll be at the grain cart, and we can just unload in the grain cart and keep going. That'll be good. I mean, we could unload. We're right here. Let's unload, actually. 
You take the back pop, or actually, I'll take the back pop. You take the big 42 foot trailer. We'll just unload right here while we're at her. I'm kind of missing a couple beans because we got enough. We definitely got enough room here, too. So I'll pull, I'll fold out my pipe, and then we should, I should be able to reach across the ditch. It's going to be a little tight, but it should work. I don't want to hit more. More, you hit my Sima, man. <laughs> You're good. There we go. And so we're unloading here. And then more can unload right there. Dude, we could fit three combines along here too, I bet. No, we could, could probably show up though. Farmer Nick's gonna be mad though. What? That we're on three combines or that we're recording without them? We're recording without them. Mmm, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Oh, gosh. Sweep down here. Dude, deer always goes first. Respect more. Respect for the deer. Come on. Come on, more. I know. I got deer. <laughs> I'm just joking, DK's fans. I'm just joking. Somebody's going to reply like, oh, the deer. You're just saying the deer's a woman, aren't you? You're saying the deer's a woman. That's why deer goes first. No, I already covered that. You guys can't reply with that. Really? For uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I'm guessing? Yes. Mm, that's sweet. It's in Maryland. Mm. Yeah, so, so, for anybody that don't know, I'll give you a quick rundown. The lady said, went to a mid-Atlantic dealer. They said, okay, we can get you a tractor. She goes, can I get it in pink? And they go, well, we don't know. She goes, I'll put the money down right now if I can get it in pink. Really? And now there's a pink tractor out there. I wonder if it's worth a lot more. Uh, it could be. <laughs> Just because it's a John Deere special that was made pink and there's only like one of them. Some collector, some rich collector might want one of those pink tractors. I mean, he could probably get one made, I guess, too. But. True. So we're. Okay, we're what? Close to halfway? No, nah, we're over halfway. And there we go. We'll unload probably at the grain cart. And then more, I think I'm going to have you take one side. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to climb this hill here. The header keeps hitting, though. More, I think I'm going to have you take one side. And then I'll take one side. And then I, I might hire out a worker, too, to run the grain cart a little bit. So you might kind of have to keep up with the grain cart. And then these beans right here, I'm just going to straight up sell. We're just going to go sell them right away. I don't think they need dried or anything. They should be good. Um... Okay, we'll keep hitting this edge right here. Perfect. And then, okay, a lot of you guys are wondering about merch. I guess I don't talk about this enough, but merch is probably three, two weeks or three weeks away. It's not, it's not far until, uh, until merch starts coming out. So we're, we're pretty close here to uh, getting some merch out. And the designs look sweet. I'm actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys some of the designs maybe on uh, Instagram or something. I'll put it out, I'll post it on my story on Instagram, uh, the squad underscore YouTube, not my personal account, but that account. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit. Yeah, that'll be cool, actually. I was thinking about just showing, waiting until the end, but I'm like, nah, let's, let's show them. So only if you're following me on Instagram, you'll be able to see that. Which, if you want to know the Instagram, Instagram's squad, the squad underscore YouTube, and there's a link down below in the description. Check that out also. More, how are you catching me right now? Why am I only going four mile an hour, too? Hmm. So, <laughs> we got to climb this hill. This hill is going to be a little sketchy, dude. Oh, this is like a... Whoever plowed this field, man, you get every single inch of it. Yep, because they're... Yeah. And we're right by the... Oh, gosh. I'm trying to climb up here, but this header keeps hitting it. You gotta there we go. Up the side and the edges. Uh, I'm already... Okay, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'll leave that stuff for you. That works good. <laughs> this is kind of weird how we're cutting, but it works. There we go. So I'll probably pull out the grain cart here and we'll unload while we're here. Or actually, let's just hire out a worker. I'll hire out a worker on the far end down there and you hire out a worker on this end, okay? And then I will go... Okay, now I gotta climb that hill again. <laughs> There we go. And then I'll run the grain cart. 
and run down there, dude. <laughs> That'd be so fun to climb this hill with a cow. It'd be sketchy, though. It'd be real sketchy. At least we have uh, duels on there, so at least it helps balance a little bit. Okay. We need to... I mean, when you think about it, a combine, I don't think will ever, ever tip. It'll slide down a hill, but it'll never tip. If you think about it, your header's going to support you a ton. If you lower your header to the ground, it's going to help support the combine a ton from tipping. Because it's just, you know, riding on the ground. It'll probably do some damage to it, but it'll really support it from tipping. If you really want to, if you're about to tip or something, I'm guessing that's how it would go. Okay, just so we can keep this combine run the whole time. I will hire out a worker down here, and then Moore's going to go that end, and I'll jump in the 8RT down there. Just because I really want to run that 8RT, too. There we go. We should be good, and let's go jump in the 8RT. Okay, what's the fastest way down there? Oh, shoot. I think we got to go this way. Flying across the field. Yeah, but the thing is, when it starts to turn around, I'm not gonna. Be, it's gonna be kind of tough to catch it. It'll be fine though, I guess. More. Tell me when you start turning around. I'll try to catch you on the, your way back there. Might be kind of tough, but actually, I'll let that combine go. I think we're good. I'm gonna catch you right now on your way back while we're here, because you're gonna turn around like right now. Start making the turn. Oh, more. You're all crooked, man. No, I'm joking. You're probably just following the path we had before. Yeah. There we go. Now start turning. Dude, this 8RT, guys. You got it. Look at this. This looks... Okay, we we don't need our blinkers on, I guess. But anyways, this 8RT, it looks nice. I love it. Okay, tell me one more. Okay. Uh, I gotta figure out how many rows I gotta get over. There we go. We're good right there. Gotta stay around six. Okay, I I'm doing it manually, so I'll just kind of watch it. There we go. You good? Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go try to catch that deer. Hopefully, it can make it to the... Shoot. Uh, okay, it'll be fine going this way, I guess. Hopefully, it makes it to the end over there. I hope it can. And then once it makes it to the end, I can catch it on its way back. I don't know. It might be full, though. It's working down there, at least. Okay, I will see you guys once it gets to the end. Unless... Don't tell me it fills up. Oh, dude, this is a little sketchy. Slow her down, slow her down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dude. That would be crazy. That would be so hard on equipment right through here. Oh, my. Look at that. Slope to it. Oh, it's 80% full. I think it can make it to the end, though. I think the deer can do it. Ah, oh, we missed a little strip of beans here. Please make it to the end. Because I don't want to have to turn it around. I think you can do it. I just got to be here right away once it starts going. And it's really going to go slow. Okay, it's climbing the hill right now. I'm going to go check. 87. Okay, it'll make it. We're good. Don't spill. There we go. Keep going. Please make it. I think we'll be good. If it, if it stops right then, I'm going to be so mad. But I gotta get ready though at the same time. And hopefully it makes this turn. It's gonna be kinda tough to make this turn, I think. Okay, I'm gonna get lined up like perfectly. I know I kinda screwed up that turn. Oh, what's it doing? What? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> it senses that there's trees there and it just wants to turn right through the beans. I'm here for you. Just get a little unloaded into me. Don't fill up. There we go. We're good. Okay. I wonder how close we were. Okay. Perfect. 
We got her good right here. Probably going a little too fast. Yeah. We got to hold like five or six mile an hour. There we go. And I'm completely doing this manually too. More. What, what percent are you at right now? More? Are you close? Oh, you're okay. You're only 23%. Okay. I'll go and load into the semi here. Now the green card takes forever to unload. And I'm probably going to put the weight in the front. Yeah, we'll probably put it. I guess we won't. Yeah, we'll put it in the front first. Just so that in case we have to move it. Uh, there's weight in the front and there's weight at the rear axles. Otherwise, it'd be kind of tough to pull out. Hey guys, we're not running too there we go. We're kind of in the ditch a little bit. Okay, so right there, that'll work. Now, this grain cart takes forever to unload. Like, if we were in a rush and I had to jump back out there, that'd be so tough. Look at that view right there. We got the S760 going and then or S780 going. S780 or 760? I think it's a 7, 760. Yeah, we got the 760 because it's the biggest model they make, I think. And then we got more going to... Oh, they do make a 90? Okay, so they make a S790 too. Then we got more going over there with 7120. Grain cart's going to take forever to unload. Um, anyways, guys, this will be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys are ready for F19. I know I am. It's been, it's been a long time coming. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, I'll see you later. Don't forget to check out Moore's channel too. Moore's uh, recording a video right now of this also out on his channel. If you want to check it out, search More Farmer or I'll throw the link down below in the description. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Okay. Are you still recording right now, More?